So after they had taken the Passover meal, Jesus and his apostles went up on the Mount of Olives. And we find what's going to happen here is that Jesus needed to prepare himself for what was about to happen. So starting in verse 36 of the 26th chapter of Matthew, it says, Then Jesus came with them to a place called Gethsemane, and he told his disciples, Sit here while I go over there and pray. Taking along Peter and the two sons of Zebedee, he began to be sorrowful and deeper, deeply distressed. Then he said to them, My soul is swallowed up in sorrow to the point of death. Remain here and stay awake with me. Going a little farther, he fell face down and prayed, My father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Yet not as I will, but as you will. Then he came to the disciples and found them sleeping. He asked Peter, So couldn't you stay awake with me one hour? Stay awake and pray so that you won't enter into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Again, a second time, he went away and prayed, My father, if this cannot pass unless I drink it, your will be done. And he came again and found them sleeping, because they could not keep their eyes open. After leaving them, he went away again and prayed for a third time, saying the same thing once more. Then he came to the disciples and said to them, Are you still sleeping? And resting? Look, the time is near. The Son of Man is being betrayed into the hands of sinners. Get up, let's go. See, my betrayer is near. Jesus went to Gethsemane to prepare himself for what was about to come, but we see something very prophetic in this passage as well. These apostles who had said, hey, even if everyone else denies you, we will not deny you, we will not abandon you simply couldn't cut it. They couldn't stay awake. It was too late at night. They were too tired. They couldn't stay up and pray. You know, the, the, uh, some of the 12 were left towards the beginning, but Jesus took three along with him a little bit farther. And those three were left at another place, but Jesus went just a little bit farther. Jesus is the only one who's going to be able to accomplish this task that is set before him. One of the areas that we can understand a lot better this year than we can in most years is the isolation and the loneliness that Jesus would have felt on his way to the cross. He loved these apostles and he wishes they could go with him, but they didn't even have the strength to stay awake and pray. Jesus was the only one fit for the task that was upon him. 